So you've decided that you want to apply to law school. Where do you start? The application process for law school is pretty similar to the application to an undergraduate school, but there is some nuance in it. For law school, you typically have a standardized test that you have to take and use in your application, and this is the LSAT, sometimes and most popularly known as the LSAT. When I was applying to law school, I used a variety of different resources. Things such as the PowerScore Bible really helped me with logic games, and I took a course. Now, some people say you should take an LSAT course, some people say you shouldn't, but know that there are a lot of free resources online for you to prepare for your LSAT. Other things that you need for law school are recommendation letters and considerations of where you want to apply. I tried to have a variety of recommendation letters for each place that I applied to school. When I applied to SMU, which is where I ended up going, I had a professor in each of my majors write a recommendation letter for me. And then I also had somebody in the legal community. So in that case, it was a family friend who could speak to my credibility, my accountability, and how he's watched me grow as a person, a leader, Leader and just an advocate. Once you've taken your LSAT and you have your rec letters, one thing that you want to look at is where you're going to be applying to law school. So the Law School Admissions Council, or LSAT, will keep up with your LSAT scores and it will allow you to apply to different schools all in one place. So much like the Common App, this is where you're going to apply. Now, you're also going to need a personal statement. For me, I talked about my dad and how that impacted me and how I wanted to give back to my community. For you, it might be something different. It might be something funny, but make sure it makes an impact and you leave a lasting impression on the person reading your essay. If you leave a lasting impression on the person reading your essay, they're more likely to come back to you and give your whole portfolio a second look over. Finally, when you're applying to law schools, you typically have to pay a couple different fees the application fee, a score reporting fee, things like that. So if you know you want to go somewhere really bad, but you also know that you're kind of in a tight financial spot, always reach out to an admissions officer and ask for a fee waiver. When you reach out to admissions officers, it shows that you're interested in the school. They're more likely to help you when you reach out to them directly. So just ask. The worst that you're going to get told is no, and most of the time you're going to get a yes. So you have your LSAT scores, you have your letters of recommendation, you've written a great personal statement, and you're ready to apply. You've got your fee waivers and you're good to go. Best of luck. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down below, or you can visit us on the web at versustexas.com. Thanks.